Hey, welcome back to another episode from uh, this Electron series. Um, today I'm going to show you how to send a notification with um, Electron. This is so this would be um, a notification in your um, in your desktop. Um, so I'll actually show you a, uh, an example of this. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I guess I'll show you an example. <laughs> what I'm going to be working off is this. Uh, if you look at my screen, this repository right here. Uh, it's a basic Electron React boilerplate code. There is no uh, Redux or anything like that, so it's kind of a nice starting point for a simple Electron app. Uh, I've, I've done so in my previous video. I actually recommend watching that first if you haven't. Uh, so in episode three, I, I set up the, a main and render communication, and that's how we're going to be actually working off that because it's all set up to use to be able to send a message from the renderer to the main to, and that's where in that, in that um, when it, the main catches the IPC call, um, that's when we're gonna fire the notification. So I should recommend watching that video first if you haven't, if not, um, get started. Um, so what we did in the last video was we cloned the repo and then we set up this uh, bunch of calls. Um, so in the main, we have the IPC on catch call here. I'm just going to comment this out, and so if I run this, I'm just going to demo what, um, where we're at, or where you should be at. Um, so it's going to compile. I'm going to hit send, and it's going to print out here zero zero one and ping, and that will be right here, that call. So. You need to have that set up because all we're going to do is add a notification call here. So these are the actual notification docs for Electron. Um, I find that I, I to use a little finicky a little bit. Um, if you go to, sorry, I'm also going to mention, I should also mention that this um, link here, this is a, a desktop app, a very simple desktop app I built to show um, a lot of these demos. Um, it's I kind of worked through and built it here and then I'm going to just explain how to to redo it on uh, on these videos. So if you go into the main on the on this, I'll include this link down in the description below. If you go into the main, um, as you can see, I'm actually saving the notifications. Oh, there's a timer. Sorry, um, I didn't mean. So the notification to start off with is being imported. So at the very top, you import notification. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top of my own project. And say import notification from Electron, um, and then if you just do a quick search, I use the word notification quite a few times. I really want to see this function called send. Okay, so here send notification, which is a really it's like four lines of code here. Um, what I'll do is I'll copy them and just paste them right into here. So all it is is new notification, and then on the end of it, I'm just putting a dot show to say show the notification. You can, if you catch the notification, like let's say just call this n, you can say n dot on click, like you can handle it based, and I mean, this is based on the docs here. So notification dot on click here, right? But that, that would also have to be a global notification can try it here. I don't know if this will necessarily work, but and why you would ever want the on click? Maybe you have a. This may have to be global, but maybe if you had a uh, in a like an app that lives in a tray or something, and like them clicking on the no notification toggles it so it shows it. Something along those lines would be a good example. And so with this, I'm going to say npm run dev, because so I've added these lines. I realize that there's no title body actually declared, so this won't work. I'm just going to call this my app, and this won't work. So I'm going to go back and kill this. And I'm changing this to say arg, which will print out ping. Now I'm going to run it again. Unexpected. Oh, sorry, I just realized that I was doing this in shorthand, so it has to be title and then it has to be body like this. Shorthand is where if the, if the value, the key and the value have the same variable name, you can just write it with the, just the variable name, the variable. So like title, if it was title, colon title, you can just 
take out one of the titles and put a comma. Um, as you can see, um, the on click was undefined, but I did get the notification. I think it has to be a global thing, to be honest. Anyways, I'm not focusing on the on click. Um, uh, for me, this video is just about showing you the actual sending of the notification. And so in this application here, the speed test desktop, all I use it for is whenever the user disconnects from the internet, I just send a notification say like you've been disconnected. I mean, obviously if they turn off their Wi-Fi, they would know that. However, like if your internet's just really, really crappy and you lose connections, it, it's to notify them. Thanks for watching this video. Next week I show you how to do local storage on an Electron app. It's extremely useful. I mean, every app should have some sort of aspect of local storage because you may not necessarily be always online. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.